Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to the start of another vlog. We got our usual little buddy here. Hey, Ghosty Goo. I hear you. Little yeller. <laughs> Come here. Yeah, you need some love. You need some love. I'll feed you in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> anyway, okay, so. Oh, gotta stop the music because YouTube. Um, okay, so uh, we've spent the morning, it's Sunday morning. We've spent the morning figuring out our ceiling insulation. And yesterday we bought all of the, not all probably, but all the one by threes that we're gonna need for our framing. Um, so here's what we got going on. We have a wool ceiling for at least, well, half the van at least. Um, we gotta figure out how we're gonna do it for this back section. And the front sections, I might try to do this one where the fan is, because there are holes to string it through, but anyway, it's been a challenge. This string is um, mildew resistant, which is what we need. So, the, you know, there's limited options when it comes to mildew resistant string. Um, and it's worked pretty good, except some of the steel parts are so sharp that it wants to cut through the string. So we'll be really glad to get our um, framing, our beams up, so that the string is like secured in there forever, but ah, oh, awesome, right? Um, I'm so, so, so excited to start framing. That means you get to really start nailing down exactly what we want our interior layout to be, figuring out heights of everything and like all the supports we're gonna need to attach our cabinets to later. Like now it's time for lots and lots of measuring essentially, but it's gonna be awesome. I'm so excited. Um, Vincent's got electrics figured out. Let me show you. I don't know what any of this means, so I'm not gonna be able to talk about it with you. Vincent will have to if we're going to. Um, you want to feed him? Yeah, you can just feed him. Put it in the plastic, not the steel, okay? Okay. Um, yeah, look at all these components. The last thing that still needs to come is our inverter, which was like $1,000. Ouch. But um, it's going to be great. All this stuff is all to use in our van for the purposes that I can't explain. But yeah, we're making progress. Um, we're going to do framing and wiring simultaneously because... Um, the framing will help hold the wiring up and it'll help make sure that we have wires in the right sections of supports and all that kind of stuff. It'll just be easier to do it all at once as we're kind of finalizing all the measurements of our layout. Um, so that's kind of what we're working on this week. I'm hoping... <sighs> Ouch. Nope, it's too hot over here. Sorry, I gotta go to the back. <laughs> it's too hot. Anyway, for this week, I'm hoping to um, finish getting... Like, do our framing all the way. Um, I think that we'll be able to finish it in a few days, to be honest. It depends on how much kind of calculating and figuring out we need to do for measuring, like, or for all of our measurements. Uh, I think there might be probably more than I realize as far as that goes. Um, that area is not my, that's not my strong suit. Um, like, drawing out diagrams and making sure all the measurements are right. I'm not good at doing it or knowing when it needs to be down to, like, the eighth inch and when it doesn't. I, um, you know, that's very much a learning curve for me. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, and we'll have to see how long wiring takes too. But I think if by the end of this next week, you know, today's Sunday, and by next weekend, if we could have all of our framing and our wiring done, that'd be amazing. And then we can finish a little insulating. And then the week after that, um, basically like end of August and September, we can be putting up our walls and our ceiling. And then it'll actually start to look like a house. Then we can do flooring and cabinets and then we're done. That's that's literally it. So uh, very exciting. We we're gonna get going. Um, I'll just I guess I'll just check in later. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna be doing and so there's nothing I can really like speed through at the moment. So I'll just check in when we've got progress. Okay, we just spent a few minutes talking. We decided to remove this big plastic cover that was covering all of these wires that are running along the van. And I'm so glad we did because we figured out where these lights that are in this beam are connected. They were connected right there. And we thought we were gonna have to kind of work around them, which would make framing harder, but it turns out we can just disconnect the wires right there and get rid of them. And then we'll have a nice empty beam <laughs> because we saw, we saw this one over here that probably would have been for, you know, if you were finishing the van in any way, it would have had more lights right here. So, great, I'm so happy, are you? Yeah, me too. That was, uh, that was a little good luck that we did it right now. And I have, I stuffed a little bit of insulation into some of this beam, but this opens it up to do a lot more insulation to get the rest of this insulated, because I was worried about that too. So this is good. 
We're gonna do more insulation, gonna get rid of those lights, and then it's framing time. Hello guys, it's seven in the morning. Just getting started. Emma is in coffee, with coffee in bed. Hi there. Hi. You can, <laughs> you can cut that up later if you want to. Little goblin! <laughs> to be fair, it's been super hard to get up in the morning lately. Yeah, I mean, it, it finally caught up with us, but hey, at least you know what? We're right on track. Um, didn't you tell me that like yesterday you checked the timeline of what we jotted down a little while ago? Yeah, so let me, I'll pull it up for you. We made this a while ago before we, before we got our van, we were kind of like having a planning session. And mm -hmm. we were like, let's just make a crazy stretch goal where yes. like we finish our van in two months. And so then we, we just wrote, I kind of, we kind of made like a little like week by week little timeline, at least for the first month. We didn't go beyond that because we just like weren't sure of everything that we were going to end up needing to do. But anyway, so we've had our van for mm, 16 days as of today or yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um Week one, we were thinking we'd be able to install fans, windows, and solar panels. Week two, we were thinking we'd be able to do uh, insulation, frame the subfloor, make the subfloor template, and plywood, put the plywood on, and start wiring. Um, we've done all of that. Except for windows, but that's because one of our windows is backordered, so we can't install it. But um, I've kind of been avoiding looking at this timeline since we made it after we got our van, because I was kind of worried that we'd be way behind and I'd feel bad about it. But then yesterday I looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh, actually we're literally right on track, which is crazy and very exciting. It's like, no wonder we're tired. We've done so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this week, according to our list, we're going to be doing all the wiring and building the electrical closet and framing our walls. And then we could even begin cabinetry and plumbing. How do you feel about that? Do you, do you think you can accomplish it? Overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> things are not going as planned. Ah! So we cut all the beams for this. I don't know how other people do this. Like I genuinely am baffled because the these just basic one by threes are too stiff to handle the curve of the ceiling. And our drill is kind of too trigger happy. Every time we're using like the self, um, self tapping screws, they just end up stripping the steel because the drill, it's really hard to control it, not going too fast, which strips it. <sighs> Nightmare. So we tried to do one beam on the ceiling and it went really badly and the wood started to crack. So we gave up and we're gonna have to go buy half inch, like thinner plywood and cut it into strips and then use that for the ceiling. And then we got exactly one, <laughs> one um, piece of framing up and it was, a nightmare and we had to redo it like three times so um yeah we're calling it quits for now it's like 8 45 Vincent has a class at 9 15 anyway and then later today <laughs> we will take ourselves on down to home depot and what, what are you doing oh okay i'll show you that in a second too um okay in other news vincent got our dash cam installed which we think is really important because we were on reddit and we watched too many uh idiots in cars videos <laughs> on that subreddit but um, here's our new little dash cam. What's it, Garmin? Garmin, yeah. Cool. And he just strung it up through the ceiling. There's a little cord right there. And then back down and it plugs right into our little outlet right here. The other options were ones that you had to like literally take apart the dash to install. So this seemed like a much better idea to me, at least for now. Hi guys. <laughs> it's like eight o'clock Tuesday night. Uh, I think the last clip that I filmed was it yesterday? Was it this morning? I can't remember, to be honest. Um, it's been two days, three days really, of like literal blood, sweat, and tears trying to figure out how to frame this van. Um, I, I, It just took us a long time to kind of figure out how a lot of the tools work. Um, Self-drilling screws into thin sheet metal. Nightmare. So yeah, we... <laughs> We struggled, we had to redo some things, 
But uh, let me show you what it's looking like right now. Um, I didn't even end up filming any of it because we were just, it was like so much troubleshooting that it was not fun to watch. So initially we had used one by threes, um, these ones that we have on the wall. It was way too much. I think I mentioned that in the last clip actually now that I think of it. It's been so long since I filmed. Um, but anyway, plywood worked much better except that it was still kind of cracking along the ends. Um, it was just too much of a curve. I don't know how people are getting their plywood to curve so well. We're using the exact same kind of plywood that everyone recommends we use and it just didn't feel super secure. We also have like upper cabinets and shelves along pretty much the entire van. So we really need to make sure that like it's actually like the integrity of it is really good. So it was just making us nervous. Like it just felt like it wasn't super sturdy. So instead we cut them shorter and we're gonna attach separate thicker wood right here with its own attachment so that it's a lot more stable. And that's how we're gonna do that. So our roof will have, still have the nice curve, mostly just, you know, the spots that you can see because the reality is a lot of it's gonna be covered. So we don't really care about how nice the curve is at the end anyway, is what we realized. Uh, we care more about like structural support. So yeah, so we cut that shorter, which was hard to do. And then we add another section right there. Then it took a long time to figure out these. We have liquid nails behind them. Can you hear that's our bug zapper? It's, working overtime tonight uh, so we have liquid nails behind these so that they're ad like adhesive and then we have our we had our self-tapping screws and then we just felt like i was really worried especially about this one that's like all of our kitchen cabinets all the way across the back i just felt like this was not enough and a lot of people use thicker ones but we have this all this cord to deal with that we can't move um some people could move it like along the top of the van but we can't let me show you because there's part of it that goes down into this hole that has no give at all, pretty much like that much give. So we have to leave this here. There's nowhere else for it to go. We have an expensive, you know, 360 degree camera system in our van that we love, that we don't want to compromise by messing up the cords. So um, yeah, so we have to use a thinner one, which means it really needs to be sound. So what I ended up doing is I ended up attaching bolts um, in here. Bolts, I, I attached it with a washer and a nut back here with adhesive also. So now the, each of these has all the screws that we have, liquid nails, and at least two bolts in all of them. So now I feel like they're a lot more stable. I feel a lot better about it. Um, yeah, so today we finally finished getting all these up. We These ones are just structural. Uh, all these ones down here. This is where the top of our countertops will be, um, but it's not load bearing, it's just like structural support. So it's not super important. I know there's literally nothing supporting it right now. There will be a window here, so we will have supports here. And this will actually be covered by a wall to ceiling cabinet, so I'm not even that worried about it. Um, but it is something that we can attach other stuff to. So my project tomorrow is to like do a whole bunch more on this, just getting like this, these boards up here across that we needed to attach still, and then a whole bunch of little ones going all the way down. Um, I literally, there's so many videos on YouTube of people doing this in a day or two. I don't know. They must just have like their cut list and they do the same, you know, van every time and they just do it professionally. And so it's just like a whole different thing. But figuring all this out has been kind of a nightmare. Has it been kind of a nightmare? Yes. Are you tired? Yes. Are you just waiting for dinner? Yes. Okay, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do for dinner because it's like eight o'clock and we haven't eaten yet. So I'm gonna sign off here. Uh, I'll catch you back uh, tomorrow. Keep working. I'll probably, maybe I'll actually film it this time because there'll be something to film now that we've figured out what we're doing. Um, anyway, okay, bye. <laughs>
Um, anyway, electrics um, kind of brought us to a standstill for a minute. It's just so many new things, right? Yeah. I'm and, so overwhelmed. Yeah. Vince, Vince, like, figured out the system, figured out what we need to buy, and, you know, how to put it all into the electrical, um, like, into our paneling, our panel of all of our instruments that we need. Um, ghost. Shh. I'll pet him. I'll pet him while we talk so he doesn't cry. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so um, Vince got all that figured out, but putting it into the van and like physically knowing where to put all the wires in the van was um, something that he in particular was really struggling with. We all have our strong suits. Yeah. My, my entire thing is in this van has been figuring out all of our layouts. So of course, you know, like from Vincent's perspective, it's, he, it's just not something he's been thinking about this whole time. So we really need to work together on it is what we realized. Um, and I'm happy to do that. It's still making good progress. And yesterday we actually had a really good day. So let me show you what we've gotten done. Hi buddy, he is such a lover. Someone in Arizona, please adopt him. You know what, even if you're not in Arizona, we will drive him to you. Like just adopt this little baby. <laughs> I wish he had somewhere to go. I have to keep looking for someone who will take him. He deserves an indoor life, don't you think? Okay, let me show you. So yesterday what we did is I helped Vincent prep all of the big cables and we got all of, ooh, let me get back in here and show you. It's on the table. We got all of um, this put together. So this will be mounted like this on the side of our bench. So when we open up the bench, this is where all of our electrics are. Um, and I know kind of vaguely what everything goes to. I know that this goes to the battery. All of this stuff feeds into this that's going to be connected to the fuses. This is for solar. This is uh, also for solar. They like this connects to this connects to this. This connects to our main car battery so that we can also charge our batteries while the car's running. So we're not just relying on solar. We're also using our car battery to charge our other batteries while the car's running. Um, so all of this needed needs to go together, <laughs> like all these cords connecting it. And then we will have on this side of the bench right here, I know it's hard to visualize, but imagine this sitting up and then next to it we'll have all of like our fuse box with all of our other stuff connected to it and like our breakers for things. And then down here, we also have our batteries ready to go, two very large batteries. And here's our inverter that um, gives us AC power for our big plugs and stuff. So this will go connected to all the stuff in here. So it's kind of been, as you can see, a lot to figure out. We are not doing the most simple of electrical builds for people who know nothing about electrics. So we're just learning as we go. Hi baby, you want some treats? Yeah, come on over. Come on. He just literally licked his lips. When, oh, watch out baby, when he saw me with this. Meow, meow. Okay. <laughs> this is our morning routine. I know, here you go. Delicious. Um, I'm just gonna feed him treats while we talk. So, we got all that figured out and then we actually started wiring our van. So as you can hear, the fans are running. Uh, you can see the cords running through the van. I'll show you hey. in more detail later. But um, we got it figured out and we finally got it going. I do have a question for you. Tell me. I mean, you can keep on filming if you want to. Okay. <laughs> for the little USB base. Yeah. Uh, would you rather have... Wait, which, the, which USB? Yeah, so this one, the oh. one up there, and that one. Would you rather have single ones like that as, as USBs or parallels like this where you can eventually Ooh. just put like a, a 12 volt plug in there? That'd be great. The yeah, the more, the more the better, I think. Yeah. Cool. So but also about... we need white, not black. We cannot, like, black will clash with black everything will else. Clash. We don't have anything else that's black that's out, really, right? Because everything else is kind of, like, hidden away. Correct. Hi, friends. Just checking in. Um, we got a lot of wiring done. And I didn't film it because it was so much to talk through and triple check. But we pretty much got all the wiring done that we can do until we have our framing done. Where we have, like, more places to put wires before we then close them up inside the wall so we got as far as we could on that um and then we started to attempt framing there's our leftover liquid nails where we tried and quickly discovered that both this frame and this one above the door these parts of the frame are a different kind of steel 
that's like way harder. <laughs> like self-tapping screws do not, do not penetrate it. Don't even touch it. You maybe scuff the paint. <laughs> so we're gonna bomb it. Now we have to run to Home Depot and get carbide drill bits because that can go through boron steel, which is what the steel is called apparently after doing some internet research. So we just got unlucky with that. We have to go get the right drill bits. So we're getting yet having to take yet another detour on an attempt at a productive day. But it's okay. Once we have these drill bits, I think it'll go a lot faster. So we'll get there, right? Eventually. Eventually. We're gonna see how much framing we can get done. I bet we could finish framing this weekend. Um, and then after that, it'll be finishing up insulation and wiring and then closing up the walls, which is very exciting. Morning, friends. It's the next morning. Um, after we went to Home Depot, we got home, I made salmon for dinner, and then we continued on with some framing. Uh, we didn't get a ton done. We did get this guy up. Um, we have a couple of good bolts in there, and then we could not for the life of us get a bolt through this area. We tried and tried and tried. Um, so we just liquid nailed it. Uh, we are gonna have cabinets right here, but they're almost all the time gonna be sitting on our bed. And we're, since we're having like, you know, a divider bulkhead thing, I think we're gonna screw the cabinets into that to give it extra support and not rely so much on that particular piece of wood. So I'm not too worried about it, but that was kind of annoying. We had to like figure that out last night. Now we are working on cutting and Craig jigging. Um, this pocket hole jig has been absolutely invaluable in this build already. Um, so we're gonna, <laughs> working on getting all of these cut. They're all, they're all the ones that go in between in all of these spots where in the future we will have cabinets attached to them. So we're working on that right now. Uh, eventually we'll have to go back to Home Depot and get some more lumber. But for now we'll just get through what we've got and then take a break. We have some other things to get to. We need to get more liquid nails, a couple other things. So that timing should work out pretty good and uh, make some progress. All right, test fit. Don't lose your grip on it. Too small? Hang on. Looks like it's a little too small. Hi friends, um, it's Monday morning. I didn't even end up filming anymore this last weekend. It was such a weird weekend. Like this whole week was just really like logistics heavy. Um, lots of things we needed to like think through and double check and calculate and it wasn't really that vlog. Uh, luckily this next week, <laughs> We're back to doing lots of construction, so we'll be back doing lots of more speed throughs and measuring and cutting and all of those things. Um, thanks for thanks for sticking with it. It's just one of those weeks. We did finally, finally, finally get this window installed. It was a pain in the butt. Just like no matter what we did, we couldn't get it as flush as I wanted it. Um, we had issues with all the, we had a, a cheaper jigsaw that we had that wasn't working and then um, we bought a DeWalt jigsaw, like top of the line jigsaw um, for double the price, more than double the price actually, at Home Depot and that one wasn't working either. We spent an hour trying to get the guides of the jigsaw to touch the blade like they're supposed to, to keep the blade in place. And it, there was just something like fundamentally wrong with it. Either that or we were really stupid, but we literally like took the whole thing apart and couldn't figure it out. So we ended up returning that and we're borrowing a jigsaw from our friend, which actually does work. So anyway, that just made the project take a lot longer because you need a jigsaw to cut through the steel of the van. And it was just kind of not, it was not fun. <laughs> so that was kind of a hard thing about this week, but we did get through it. Now, today, and this next week, I'm gonna be finishing framing. That's our goal, is to finish framing and to prep everything for plumbing because plumbing is where we're gonna actually have to cut some holes in the sides and bottom of the van for the tanks, for the like output of the water tanks. 
all that kind of stuff. So this week is like kind of a building heavy week while Vincent kind of preps all that other stuff. And uh, it'll be good. It'll be good. I'm excited. Um, like I said, thanks for sticking with us through this week. Next week will be better. Um, love you guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.